Hello! Today I'm going to tell you a story about something that happened to me that was really, really bad, so enjoy. Here in the United Kingdom we have this charity called Comic Relief, who every two years puts on this big event called Red Nose Day, as depicted here. It's a massive TV event designed to entertain the nation while also helping to raise lots of money for good causes here in the UK and in Africa. Now fairly recently, Comic Relief got in touch with me and said, Hello, Charlie is so cool like, we need to be better at making YouTube videos, can you help us? And I was like, sure thing bro, they don't call me Charlie is so given like for nothing, I'm always up for helping a good cause. And they were like, oh thank you young man, how lovely you are. And uh, that's exactly how it happened. So I went to go and meet with Comic Relief and they were like, do you want to make a YouTube video for us? And I was like, sure. And then they were like, oh by the way, are there any celebrities that you're interested in doing something with for this video? Because if we ask nicely, we might be able to get one for you. So they weren't really just saying, do you want to make a video for our good cause? They were also saying, pick a celebrity that you want to meet and we might be able to have them come around your flat so you can make a video with them. And that's what happened. Sort of. I told them that I was a massive fan of this big musical comedian called Tim Minchin, and that in an ideal world I'd like to just write a song with him, not thinking that would happen, obviously. But they came back to me and said, sure, Tim Minchin's interested, when do you want to start? And I said, ah, this is exciting. So I wrote a song of Tim, which was lovely, and then on the day before he was meant to fly out to Australia, he came around to my flat to film it, which was a bit mental. I insisted that we learn the song, and so we spent about four hours trying to get a take of it when he was only meant to stay over for about an hour and a half. That was also a bit crazy. We finally get the take, Tim flies back to Australia, never to be seen again. I'm very aware of the fact that we probably won't have another chance to do this. Then I sit down in front of my laptop to look at the footage that we just got, and this is what I see. So it turns out that I forgot to turn the microphone on. Uh, head desk. Then I get an email from Tim Minchin that says, You're right, Charlie, I had fun today, I hope you did as well. Can you send me the video? And I don't respond to him because I don't know what to say to him. Then Comic Relief get in touch and say, How did the shoot go? And I say, uh, we, we had slight audio problems. And they say, Oh, oh dear, what could we do to help? And I say, we forgot to turn the microphone on. I'm an idiot, there's nothing we can do. It happened quite a while ago now, so I've managed to distance myself from the experience a bit, but just retelling the story is making me relive the emotions and, oh, it was so bad. <laughs> now I could just make a video of Tim Minchin and then not tell you about the video that I made with Tim Minchin because it was a pretty good video apart from the bit where I pooed all over it. We had this cool thing prepared for it where it was gonna start off like a normal song of mine and then the camera was gonna pan across and then oh my god Tim Minchin is rolling into shot everyone! Tim Minchin everyone! Tim Minchin! Although the effect would have been partially dampened by the fact you can actually see Tim's reflection in my computer screen before he even rolls into shot. To do that effect by the way where Tim rolls into shot my flatmate Alex had to lie on his stomach and push him in and then once he was done he had to kind of lie there out of shot on the floor for the duration of the whole thing. I like to get Alex to do little humiliating jobs for me like that but I think he secretly enjoyed it being underneath Tim Minchin and all. Ultimately I realised the best thing I could do with this situation was just tell you the tale of the whole thing so you can revel in my misfortune because if nothing else it's quite a good story. The tagline for Comic Relief is do something funny for money so at this point I was gonna say we just did something funny for money now it's your turn. But now I have to say I tried to do something funny for money but failed miserably. Now it's your turn to make up for my mistakes. So if you'd like to raise some money for charity and do something for Comic Relief this Red Nose Day, then you can go to rednoseday.com forward slash fundraise. I wish you good luck, I hope you do better than I did, and I will see you at a point in the future. Goodbye. Uh, you've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool-like, which makes you like cool.